Hello, my name's Fiona Lumbers and I'm the illustrator of Luna Loves Art, written by the brilliant Joseph Coilo. And today, to celebrate the publication of Luna Loves Art, I am going to teach you how to draw your very own Luna. So, if I move the book out of the way, first of all, there we go. What you'll need is a sheet of paper, any paper, and something to draw with. It could be a pencil or a pen, felt tip, a crayon, whatever you've got to hand really. So to start with, we're going to draw Luna's head. So in the middle of our paper, around here, we're going to draw a circle. It doesn't have to be completely neat. You don't need to press too hard at this point. Just draw a nice circle, like so. Once we've drawn our circle, we're going to put two small lines underneath and they will become Luna's neck. Okay, next we're going to give Luna a body. So, to draw her body, we're going to draw an oval or an egg shape, just here. So starting here, I'm going to draw a line coming round. Now remember, this is Luna's body, so we don't need it to be too long. Probably just slightly longer than her head. Okay, so there's our basic body shape. Once we've done that, we're going to find the bottom and the middle, like so and just draw a line coming down, okay, about that one. Next, from the side of the oval, we're going to draw a line coming in this way and one coming in this way. And can you see that they don't go straight down, they kind of curve in following the curve of the oval. Okay, so once we've done that, we are then just slightly wider than that line, going to draw a rectangle like so. Let's join them ends up. There goes the end of my pencil, click. And then we'll just draw a little line there. And these two sections are going to become the turn-ups of Luna's dungarees. So coming out the bottom of her legs, looks like a bit of a funny shape at the moment, but it will all make sense soon. We're going to draw a foot coming around like so. And then the same on the other side, all the way around like that. Okay, traveling back up the body to where the neck meets the top of the oval shape. We're going to draw one line coming out here and then another one underneath and then the same on the other side like so and then we'll join them up. So we've got two rectangles and these are going to become Luna's arms. So on the end of Luna's arms we need to give her two hands. For each hand we need one thumb and four fingers. So I'm going to draw a thumb shape like so, looks like a little sausage, and then we go one, two, three, four, then we travel over to the other arm, we draw our thumb, and then we go one, two, three, four, and join that round. And now Luna has some hands. So we're going to travel back up to Luna's head now. So on our circle, about halfway up, make a small mark like that and then come in slightly from the circle. So make another mark there like so. And what we're going to do is from this mark, we're going to join that up to the head. So it's a slightly curved line going like that and then the same in the other direction like so. Okay. And then we'll just bring that back around to the bottom of the circle. Now, where this line joins the head here, this is where we're going to start doing Luna's hair. And Luna's got beautiful curly, cloud-like, beautiful curly hair. So we're going to draw Luna's hair in three sections. So for section one, we're going to do the top section. So starting here, we go like this. We bump, 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 bump all the way around, all the way back down to Luna's head like so. And then once we've met the head here and here, we're going to join those two up with another bumpy line. So bump, 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 bump. And that's our first section. Then traveling back over to here, we're going to draw the next section. And this is a kind of triangular shape, but in a lovely bumpy cloudy line. So like so, here we go. Bump, 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 all the way around. And then we'll bring it round and join it back up under Luna's chin. And then finally, starting this side next to the neck, we're going to draw another triangle. So we come all the way out and round, back up to the top. And then following this line of the head, we're going to join this section and this section up, but following this line. So we're not going to go straight up, 
we're going to go round like this. So we go bump, 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 all the way around to the top. And this will become Luna's hair very soon. So it looks a little bit funny at the moment, but don't worry, it's going to change. So next, we're going to give Luna a face. So where we've drawn our line coming in like this, we're going to come in slightly again, draw another mark, and that will be where the first eye goes. So give it a lovely circle there, lovely dark dot. Then traveling across in line with that dot, we're going to travel across with our pencil to about here and give Luna another eye. There we go. Next, she's going to need a nose. So halfway between these two dots, we're going to go down slightly, so here, and just do a slight curved line. And there's Luna's nose. Uh, so today, I think Luna's very happy to be here on your piece of paper. So we're going to give her a lovely big smile. So starting here, underneath the eye, and across from the nose, we're going to draw a lovely curved smile coming all the way around. There we go. Luna looks extremely happy. And we're going to give her some lovely happy eyebrows too. So between the eye and the hair, halfway between, we're going to draw a curved line there. And the same above this eye, so another one there. And then finally, to finish Luna's face off, we're going to give her two lovely round rosy cheeks like so. Okay, so that's the beginning of Luna's face. So let's go back to the hair now to make the hair look more curly and voluminous and lunarish. We're going to go into each of our shapes and we're just going to have lots of fun scribbling like this all the way around, scribble, 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 curly, whirly, whirly, all the way around like so. And then we'll do the same on this section. And you can be as messy as you want on this bit. And if you go outside the lines, that doesn't matter. And what's good is where we had our circle for the head and we've now gone in like this, we can cover that up with curls like that. There we go. And the same on this side. So we'll go over there, cover that up with lots of squiggly wigglies like so. All the way over. There we go. And now Luna's got some lovely hair and you can make some little adjustments here if you think she needs a little bit more there. We'll come outside a bit longer there. A bit more under here. There we go. And there's Luna's hair. So now you can go back over the outline of your face, just to make it a bit stronger, all the way around. And then we've got a lovely face for Luna. Now another thing that Luna always likes to wear is a ribbon in her hair. So where this section and this section meet, we just go one, two, and there's the ribbon for Luna's hair. Okay, so we've done Luna's head, so I think we need to give her some clothes now. This is nice and easy, this bit. So where the neck here joins the body, we're going to draw one line here and one line here and then join them up like so. And then we're going to draw another line there and another line there and join it up. And these will become the straps of Luna's orange dungarees. And on the front of her dungaree, she always has a nice pocket. So we'll draw a rectangle there and then we'll just follow the body round all the way down and make that line a bit stronger and joined up and this line here and then we'll just go over the turn ups like so there we go and that's Luna's dungarees and what she always likes to wear with her dungarees is her stripy top so on each arm we're going to draw some lines one two three four and the same on this side so this is her stripy top and then we'll just draw one, two, and then curve that one round. That's the top of her top there, around her neck. And there's her top. So finally, to finish off, we'll give Luna some shoelaces. So we go down to her feet and we just draw one, two lines like so, and the same there. And now she's got her shoes on too. So that's how you draw Luna. So in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I drew earlier and I've coloured her in, and I've put her in her own art gallery. So I've drawn some different shapes on the wall using objects I found around the house. So I used a cup to draw this, and then I found some post-it notes, and I drew around that. You can make your frames in whatever shape you want. You can give them fancy edges, you can keep them plain, whatever you want, and then what you can do is think about what kind of art you would like to have in your art gallery 
and paint your pictures or draw your pictures in the frames. So in Luna Loves Art, she looks at lots of different types of art, abstract art, portraiture, modern art, historical art. So she has lots of different influences. You could draw patterns, you could draw a funny portrait with a wonky nose, you could draw your favourite animal, whatever you want, whatever you think would look lovely in Luna's gallery, and then draw your pictures. And when you've finished, sign your name at the bottom like I have, and put your pictures online with the hashtag Luna Loves Art so that Joe and I can see all your beautiful creations. Okay, so that's the end of the draw along. Here comes my Luna from earlier that we drew. Here she is. And she's come to say goodbye and thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.